Hello, today's devotional can be found in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 25. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her that bear him. Alright. We all are sons and daughters. And sons and daughters came before us and will come after us. And at some point in our lives, we will have responsibility over sons and daughters, whether they be our own or not. And as sons and daughters, we have sometimes made choices, and we will make choices that be a grief unto our Heavenly Father because they won't be the right choices. And we will sometimes be foolish and forget who we are, causing stress to Heavenly Father and causing the atonement stress and its performer stress. As sons and daughters of the future will someday cause to us. You see, we have our agency, even though we are children of God and have very defined, divine responsibilities and an opportunity to do good and be good and to look beyond our imperfections because of the atonement and look to what we can do and become. Sometimes we act foolishly because our mortal nature demands perfection and we sometimes, I don't know, we sometimes look down upon that which is not perfect in the eyes of the world. Even though in the Father's eyes it is beautiful and wonderful. And sometimes people are very foolish. We are all sometimes very foolish in how we treat others and what mistakes we make. And, and those foolish decisions cause grief to Heavenly Father. And it makes our Heavenly Mother sad. I'm not sure if she gets bitter, but she has a bitter taste in her mouth when she sees her children acting in such a deplorable manner. Fortunately, we can repent of foolishness. We don't have to be at grief forever. We don't have to be stuck with the burden of being a grief and causing bitterness to they who care for us. We can look beyond ourselves. We can look to the atonement of Jesus Christ and through the process of repentance, the atonement will help us to be able to let go of being a grief and causing bitterness to those who care about us and to make better choices if we so desire to make better choices because we certainly can't stop being a grief and causing bitterness on our own. I mean, we can try, but we mortals are very fallible. We can try our hardest, but we're very fallible and we're not perfect and we're liable to stumble. So hence why we need Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ's help. They are perfect. They can help us know how to repent of our foolishness and to how to do better and how to let go of the guilt that we may carry over being a grief and causing bitterness. And we shouldn't be afraid right. to... I'm doing my devotional! We shouldn't be afraid to ask for help from our Heavenly Father. Because He loves us very much. And we should all be willing to come out of them. Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ. 
so we don't hang on to our grief and bitterness all the time. Because grief and bitterness are burdens that Christ already died for, so we don't need to hang on to them. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.